It's Monday, January 22nd, 2018. Five o'clock. Time for My Alaskan Backyard with Greg. Live from the cabin and being recorded as well. Get ready to sit back and relax and then have yourself an entertaining evening. Okay, we're here. Hey, let's pop up here. And whammo, like magic, we're here. Well, it's been an interesting couple of weeks we've had here so far. Um, down in the lower 48, it's really getting really bizarre. <laughs> It's been really entertaining watching watching this thing. The, the government shut down. <laughs> That's a, that was hilarious. So, so, God, I don't know where to start. Uh, well, we're not we're not doing this live. This this is recording. So I could cut cut and paste a lot of shit out of here. What you see now is my drink for the evening. It's uh, an IPA uh, from uh, Oregon, I believe, uh, Duchess Brewery. It's one of their IPAs. It's pretty decent. It's not not on par with fresh Alaskan IPA beers, but uh, you know, I'm just identifying that this would be a great place for a product placement ad. Anybody's interested, send, <laughs> sign it up with your beer. We'll exchange some airtime uh, for some beer any day. Oh. Well, let's see if we can f flip some stuff around here and check some stuff out here. Let me see here. I haven't been on plan with the broadcasting stuff for a couple of weeks, I don't know, maybe even a month or so, so, might be interesting tonight, we'll, we'll see what happens, we're going to try tonight to uh, do do this show, record, re record locally, and then I might just do a Facebook Live at the same time to see uh, how the, how the bandwidth holds up. And whether this software can handle two intensive streams coming from the same uh, source, it should be should be interesting anyway for all of you networking fans out there. We should probably save the technical details for the uh, the uh, All Things Linux show instead of, instead of this show. That's more of my technical technical thingy and we haven't done much on that either god I'm getting lazy you know when you get older you get lazier you know, I, just, I don't know what it is uh, could be the constant pain you're in <laughs> or the you know or the depressing circumstances of your existence or or, or the world or you know I don't see how people that watch CNN don't commit suicide. <laughs> I mean, every freaking hour of the day, round the clock, it's the same shit. <laughs> All about let's how 
how bad Trump is or something that someone thought he said that maybe he might bent or, or uh, you know, a word to use that, that hurt somebody's feelings or something. In the meantime, you got the freaking Turkish uh, army invading Syria from the fucking north, attacking the Kurds, our allies, the guys that wiped out the, uh, most of ISIS over in Syria and have been our allies in Iraq for the last 15, 20 years. You know, you got the Turks fucking shooting, shooting at them and uh, trying to wipe them out. And we're not talking, you know, like small arms. I've seen they're moving tank regiments through there and shit. There's and artillery pieces. This they one and they're call they're calling the Kurds. What is it? Uh, they're calling them a terrorist. You know. Uh, well, the Kurds ain't got a freaking uh, artillery pieces to move around. <laughs> the Kurds. The Kurds ain't got no uh, helicopter gunships that I'm aware of, you know, or any jet fighters. And the Kurds certainly don't have anything more than maybe a little bit of anti-tank capacity, but they might not even have that, you know. Uh, ISIS had all the tow missiles for that area, right? And I, they got, the ISIS people were using the tow missiles against uh, the, the Syrian army and the Russians, okay? Now, there may be some anti-tank capacity on the Kurd side, but I doubt it. They're not going to be able to stand a, up to a freaking a tank attack by the Turks. Say that three times fast and you get a beer, okay? Tank, Turk, there's... Tank attack from the Turks. Tank attack from the Turks. Tank attack from Turks. Okay. I get I get a beer. Oh, brother. Oh. Alrighty, so uh let's see here. Let's go look on the other monitor and see what's happening there. If I can get it over here. Uh bam, there should she be. Alright. This is where you're hearing my music from iTunes here. All this stuff is open is uh, in the dom open domain. There's no copyright on any of it. There's not much of that, you know. And this is this is a place where I think some of my relatives could make some money, uh, you know, if they wanted to branch in branch into it. As uh, a few few of my relatives are pretty good musicians and song composers and stuff like that. They they should be writing stuff for the open source community, you know, and get get their build their reputations and stuff among, you know, the the masses by donating a few little uh bumpers and songs and stuff. <laughs> you know, beats and things like that. I mean, you got this great resource, you know, the open source community. Oh, uh, well, let's see here. So let's close this dude, not close him, let's put him down. And at the same time, we're doing uh, one recording thing, we're doing another one. This is just, this, uh, for my radio slash non users or whatever who don't get the video and don't want the video or whatever just like to hear my my voice this is a, a feed I'm, I'm working on putting together and since it's not video and it's not really CPU intensive I'll probably host this right off my home server so if anybody is interested in uh, talking to me or whatever or being part of the show or whatever they only just all they can do is just make a download and uh, run it on their machine do 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 so let's uh let's minimize that and get that out of the way all right we need a browser window here and 
it's over on the side of my screen. And let me see if I can move it. Well, yeah, I'll shoot that one over it. Grab it and pull it over here. Just had to hit the right looking buttons. And let's see here. Let's see if we make it full soon. And yeah. I might have to uh, adjust a few things so that you can see everything. But yeah. So, what say we go? No, let's see. I can't. I can't let you see me and you at the same time because then you'd be we are there'd be echoes and we would get out of sync. So let's see here. Maybe that ain't gonna work. So yeah, that probably it's probably not gonna work because of the the transitions. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I'm not going to go live on Facebook at the same time. We'll just go over here and play play on Facebook. Say if I can get it get it uh, scaled correctly, so that you can see everything. Do 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 do. Let's see over here. Uh, nope. Uh, where's the freaking thing at? Uh, there it is. Okay, at knitter. All right, there you go. Now we can cover this stuff there. Let's say here. Whoa, spin up to the top. Let's see, who do we have here? Oh my God, Chelsea Manning is running for. For elected office. Well, good for her, uh, him, her, for it. Good for it. Okay. That's kind of a neutral gender term. You know, don't want to be uh, out of line in California and get, and get uh, uh, arrested for for not knowing the proper pronoun to pronounce whatever that individual felt he was or she was or it was that day. Okay, but hey, that's that's California for it for you. I can't wait till the, I can't wait till the, those motherfuckers get audited and shit. No, I can't. If Session had a pair of nuts, he would he would send a, a bunch of agents in there with arrest warrants and pick up all those freaking an animals. The, the sanctuary city shit. Put them in the Hooskal just overnight. I mean, they they get the message. Yeah, you know, let's kick them out of the union. We don't need those assholes. There's a good one here. That's uh, Kim Kimber. For anybody that knows weapons, Kimber is one of the top end custom pistol manufacturers. Uh, their 45 is legendary. Uh, they make other calibers as well. And uh, they go for premium prices. The, they start out like maybe 900 to to $1,000 uh, for a really this base, 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 base production line model to their their uh, higher end, end stuff is like fifteen hundred bucks or more. And that's just for the basic weapon. You know, I, who knows what the fucking extra magazines cost? I mean, God, it could be like uh, you know fifty to a hundred bucks a magazine or something. Who knows? I mean, I don't. I I never got into that. I know uh, I've seen magazines for. For like my Ruger Scout rifle and 308, I saw magazines for that the other day at the store for $72 a ma for a 10 round box magazine. You know, when I bought the rifle, 
almost a year and a half ago. I think I paid like 45 bucks for it. So in a year and a half, the the, pro, the price of just the magazines jumped up. I'd hate to see what the price of a new inbox grade rifle is running for. Excuse me while I drink beer. All right. Uh, who's that? Oh, that was a comment I made. Ooh, Ryan. There's Ryan. Yeah, Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, Olympic. Yeah, da, da, da. I don't know what that is. Sometimes uh, it blurs out like that, and I think it's because it's a Safari browser. But this this browser I'm see I'm seeing here. This is a. Uh, uh, what is it? That's that's a. Uh, Firefox, I think, yeah. More federal pen reveals the truth about Obama. The truth about Obama. Oh, my God. Oh, we were all so so ignorant about Obama, and now they've told us the truth. Oh, my God. Snoop Dogg say he moving to Guyana. When I saw this today, I about fell out of my, my chair laughing. <laughs> The morons, and he's like, "Oh my God, he's gonna, he's moving, he's moving to a place where, you know, you're like uh, an hour's drive away from from Ebola country. <laughs> you, know, you, you have any any idea of the communicable diseases this fucking moron is gonna put himself into, you know? And it's like he's forgotten that." Just because he black, you know, in order for, for for a lot of those people in that part of the world, because of the environment, because of, of lots of factors, in order for them uh, to even survive the, the diseases that are running rampant right now over there, they've had to uh, been born and raised in the area to, to get the, the antibody immunities. This, this dumb fucker from L.A., you know, is going to go go to, a, to that part of Africa and live there. All right. Now, granted, with with just a little bit of money, he's he may be a multimillionaire. I mean, cool. But you can't stop fucking diseases from crossing into your onto your plantation or onto your walled estate down there, Snoop. They're going to be in the air. They're going to be in the water. You know, you'd be better off buying a fucking submarine and living at the bottom of the ocean than you would be to go there because you're going to be dead from some one of those diseases, in, in, you know, in a year or two or, or your kids are or your wife or your mom or your dad or one of your visitors and shit. You know, you don't want to move to, to fucking Africa, especially Uganda. You know, unless you've got enough money to hire your own fucking army, too. You might have. I know they say you're a multimillionaire. I mean, you can't send it all on, on pot, you know, because pot that ain't that expensive. So maybe you'd, maybe you'd have enough money for uh, your own army down there. You're going to need it. You're going to need it over there in Uganda. So Snoop. Bye bye. Let's see what else we got. Oh, oh no, the Wicked Witch of the West. I voted numerous times when I was senator to to spend money to build a barrier to try to prevent illegal immigrants from coming in. But now that I know they they are dreaming. And they're dreamers. I will go ahead and change my opinion. Okay. Uh, uh, normal. Who's normal? <laughs> well, are you guys all normal down there in the states? Muruhuchi kills people. We have determined that to be a lie. Marijuana has never been killed. Like your, unlike your parents, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> What's the Clinton body count now? 
It's over 90, isn't it? Like 96. There were just two other people were, were, or, that were or, uh, tied into the Clinton Foundation and uh, Hillary's shady dealings that came up dead. Uh, I think it was a, they had something to do with the Haitian thing and where all that money went from the Clinton Foundation during uh, the hurricane relief effort. <laughs> I can't read that. It's time to shut down Dark Eye. Hey, Democrat. Yes, what red president? I don't know. Come on. Come something entertaining. <laughs> now that is a that is a beauty. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that. You got the Democratic Party telling the little black kid, "Forget about it, kid." He's got himself. A, a new Palomar, the uh, little Mexican, <laughs> little Mexican in Mexican shirt. That's fucking. That is fucking hilarious. It says it all, bro. I'm gonna like that. And I'm gonna give it a heart. Okay. Cuba before and after Castro. Oh, uh, let's give our vets congressional benefits to give the congressional benefit. Eh, okay, yep, yep, that's a good point. And the cool thing about face Facebook when it first came out, and and, and for the longest time has been, you can see things that other people other people feel are important. You know. And you can leave, you know, you were able to to respond to the things without worrying about political correctness and being placed in Facebook jail. But now there's, we have the Facebook jail and then from jail they banish you. And nobody wants to be banished. Do you know what banished implies? You know, some, it's like what they used to do to the lepers and stuff that were toxic to the community and this this banish them out you know that's it's it's just sad sad what is what the what are the old timers in, in the in the uh, computer industry and the networking industry like myself and my friends have seen freedom the free freedom to create this this beautiful bastard called the internet you know the pre, the the printing press for for the the common person you know the common man and woman you know to to be able to spread spread their ideas share their share their feelings and stuff it's it's now Evolved, devolved into a propaganda machine for uh, certain industrial sections as well as as, as political parties. I mean, it's it's not what we envisioned for the world, but I don't know how to change it. You know, because he, if you we interfere with the evolution of this thing, it, that's that's as bad as interfering with the evolution of any living organism. You know, it's, so we got to just see, just hope hope that it evolves correctly. Uh, your beer message could be here. Keep that in mind when you're evaluating where your advertising dollar goes. There, I'm sure some of this content will be screened by the NSA, if not all of it archived forever. Thank you, government. You know, I was wondering how how I could possibly leave things to my my descendants. You know, ideas, photographs, stuff for, stuff for the people 
that are in my family that don't that don't know me or want to want to know me sometime in the future. But thanks to the NSA, don't have to worry about that no more. Everything I everything I put on the internet, every trans electronic transmission I make, I know is being recorded. You know. I know everything on my phone, all, all that's recorded because it's recorded for everybody in the in America. <laughs> it's until they until the NSA runs out of space and then they'll have another black bot project something where they'll you know come up with another facility that outdoes the one that they have based on newer technologies for information storage at a denser denser uh medium. Probably Chris crystal storage you know at the top at the atomic level because you know, <laughs> what you're seeing on your screen now all that shit, all this stuff is just ones and zeros and that pattern stored in somewhere where it can be retrieved so uh, that's enough technical stuff for you people I don't want to bore the shit out of you let's go back and look at this all right so here we are back at here and we're probably putting, let's see, what, we put like 20, 29 minutes in this this uh, appearance this time so far. So man, maybe we'll do a couple minutes more and then that's it. DARKA, Democrats Against Citizens of America. <laughs> God, they had to be fucking insane to do what they did to shut the government down over, you know, over this shit when they when, when they could, they were going to get it anyway and they probably still get most of it, you know. The only thing they're going to have to do is they're going to have to end chain migration, which has proven to be a failure to start with, and the lottery system, which has proven to be a failure, you know. I mean, are these Democrats so fucking stupid and entrenched in their own sense of, of power that they, they would shut down the fucking government over whether or not this small bunch, bunch of illegal aliens would be, were going to be able to stay here forever without ever having to suffer any consequences for breaking the law? I mean, on our dime, going... Free college, free fucking food, free fucking everything, you know, to, in exchange for their vote Democratic. You know, oh my God. Don't get me started. Let's go back over here. All right. Let's see. What else we got here? All right. Here. Let's see what else is going, going on. Hey, it's Craigslist. Let's see what Craigslist's got. Craigslist Anchor Town. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. I wonder if you people would like to see what what it costs to live up here. You might be able. You might. It might give you something. So, let's take a look at old housing, for example. Uh, let's see, the a lot of people do apartments, and young people do apartments. Uh, let's see if we can find some apartments. Apartments housing. Okay, here's some of them. Five hundred and fifty square foot, one bedroom, one bath. Eight hundred and twenty-four dollars. Now, how does that, how does that uh, stack up against what you guys down in the lower forty-eight er area, the so-called America, what you guys pay? I mean, say you're in a rural area. What would you pay in a rural area for five hundred and fifty square foot one bed? One bedroom, one bath, uh, apartment, and uh, let us know if you can. Just 
if this is on YouTube and uh, Facebook or something, there'll be a comment section there somewhere. And you can just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Okay, here's, let's see. 900, so that's 900, it's at the airport. Uh, uh, four bedroom home, 1998 per month. Huh, that's not too bad. So, what does a family home go for where you guys are at? And I'm talking like a three bedroom, two bath, uh, basic family home, you know. It didn't have to be two car garage or four car garage like this one when you're seeing in the picture. That's a four car garage. That's a huge house there. But what what would one cost where you're at? Be interesting to know. All right. So here's a just a mobile home. It's over a thousand bucks a month. And this is in a not so so economy. And these rents. You got to remember these rents are are in a declining economy in Alaska, you know. Uh, that's why the tax cuts that, that Trump and the, Demo uh, the Republicans gave us is going to be a big boost to people in Alaska. That plus the, the fact that they, they're going to allow oil to be uh, found in, and pumped out of the North Slope finally, you know. That's going to add lots and lots of jobs, which, which is going to put pro pressure on real estate values. Now, can you imagine what this mobile home is, is going to rent for uh, once the uh, North Slope app opens back up? And say that there's a, they need thousands and thousands of workers, just like the same thing happened in North Dakota when they, they opened up the, those uh, shale fields up there. They needed thousands and thousands of workers, and it's still that way. So any available space is going to go at a premium. It's, it's supply and demand. So I wonder what that's going to be in, say, a year from now. I'm predicting that it's probably going to be about 1800 a month for that same uh, property. Oh, beers are good. So, I'm going to make dinner here in a few minutes. So, let's look at a little bit more stuff here. See this moosey? Isn't he pretty? Don't you wish you had mooseys like that? All right. Four bedroom, two front bath, two story with Orchard of Settlers Bay. That's pretty damn cheap for that down there in Settlers Bay because they're. That's down by the golf course. And they got an airstrip down there, a golf course, that type of thing, with a clubhouse and uh, tennis courts. and It's kind of like a community thingy. All right. Well, my butt's getting sore from sitting here. And it's getting to be 5.36. And I need to get me some pasta going on the stove and feed these this family of mine. So, as always, thank you for for taking the opportunity to view this. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see. Uh, when I post new material, there's a little bell icon there. You click on that, and then that'll 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 give you a uh, notification whenever a new video goes up on the site. If you're seeing this on Facebook, uh, take the time to go to YouTube and get away from Facebook, because eventually there's not no one's going to be able to use it as who's not a a, a died in the ward left hard. Died in the wool, not ward. Well, you could probably say ward too. Uh, uh, depending on which part of the country you're at. Uh, left hard, okay? So also look for us on, on the mines, mines.com. And uh, Vimo, I think we're on there. Uh, you can always uh, follow me on uh, 
Facebook. Follow me on uh, Twitter. I'm on Twitter. So uh, feel free to do that. Until the next time, or until we get some interesting stuff happening up here that's not related to politics down in the lower 48. Uh, probably the next thing I will bring up is uh, we have the Iditarod coming up, and we have the Fur Rendezvous coming up, and then we have the Anchorage Boat Show coming up. So there are some shows and stuff, and I might even... There's the plunge coming up here. I don't know if I'll get permission to film in there or not. Uh, I guess we could do uh, an audio thing with the plunge. And that's where people dress up in costumes. They go out to Matsu uh, Lake Resort there. They cut a hole in ice and, and exchange for, I think it's for promises to pay money or something. They'll jump into the cold ice water for your amusement. It's... <laughs> It would probably make a really good video if I could get permission to get in there and get some shots, but you know I don't want to hassle with people getting pissed off when you, they see when they see a camera, you know, especially you know, my cameras are obviously <laughs> they look like they're not mom and pop cameras. They they look like professional because they are they're professional level cameras, you know. So people see that and they go, "Why is that motherfucker doing? What is he doing?" You know, is he a terrorist? You know, so you have to deal with that. That's kind of bizarre. So that's coming up for you folks, and uh, I enjoy doing stuff like that. So uh, I would like more interaction, so I can figure out like, you know, what do you guys, what do you guys think of, of uh, the prices of these uh, apartments? Uh, what do you think of of, of uh, what's happening? Uh, you know, uh, let me know. Gives me something to talk about. I don't have nothing else pressing at the moment, so hey, let's let's chat sometime. Alrighty, and let's do a do an out here. Let's see. How about we? Lay something out. Uh, how about this? Caissons go rolling along As the army goes rolling along
and good night, America.